thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. Today's question is, is it okay to keep texting a guy after our first date? Well, the problem with doing this is when you start texting somebody and they're not responding to you, then you pretty much have your answer. What I would suggest doing is wait, if you have a really nice date and you think it went really well, wait till you hear from them. If they asked you out on the date, then they usually do a follow up with you. There's nothing wrong with saying thank you for the date, but I would suggest even holding off on that. If you said thank you and everything went really well, you had a really good night with them, then that should be enough for them to want to follow up with another date or to at least contact you. Now, a lot of women I'm finding are responding to texting to a new guy way more than they should be. So there's no mystery left for this guy. He already knows who you are, knows that you're super interested in him, that everything is just too easy, in a sense, for him to sort of feel attracted or excited again. He needs to have some time, a little bit of time and space between the dates so that he can, you know, miss you. And the same for you. People get so excited now if they have one really good evening with somebody because they're so, so far and few between these days that you get over excited about it and then ends up screwing up because it comes across too aggressive or just too much in their face. Let it breathe. Like seriously, let it breathe and take its course. Another thing that I'm hearing a lot of and uh, I don't get this because you don't know where these things are going to end up. If you're sending sexy photos of yourself and you don't even know this person, how do you think in the long run that could turn out for you? You really seriously do not know who you just had a date with. You met them once. Yes, maybe there was this huge chemistry that you had together and you feel that by doing that with them, they're going to notice you more. Well, pictures that are sexual like this can be, especially for a lot of women, can be a big turnoff. The old expression, less is more, really works for the most part. I'm not saying play games, but don't jump in on all fours and give them everything you've got and more right off the bat. Everybody's in such a rush today to, to find out, you know, where the relationship's going to go. Is there, is something going to happen out of it? Nobody just sits back and, and sort of lets things flow naturally. We want it now. And the, the problem with that is we don't even really know what we want now, but we think we do. So we go in on a really aggressive note and it ends up turning the other person off. You really want to have a relationship that progresses at a normal pace without all these sort of excited questions or, or getting so assertive with how you respond to them and basically texting them every five minutes while they're just starting to get to know you and see if they even like you. If you want to turn somebody off, I'm telling you, go in fast and jump in there with everything you got because that will eventually turn their head the other way because there's nothing left to explore. You've given them who you are. You've said everything up front about how you feel and what's going on. But the bottom line is you don't even know them. So how can you give them all that? And why do you want to keep texting somebody that doesn't answer you back? So my advice here would be that you contact them once if you really have to, to say thank you. That's it. You don't spend, you know, the next 20 minutes writing them back. And even if they text you back saying, oh, I had a great night, leave it at that. If they text you back and say, I did too, I'd like to get together, make it happen on your, where it's a combination for both of you, it works really well. Don't give up your life to go and jump to be there because they want to see you the next day. If you're busy, tell them you're busy, but how about next week or how about on Friday? Give them alternate sort of situations that they know you're not blowing them off and you are interested in them, but you have a life. Because think about it. Don't you want somebody that has a life that isn't sitting there just kissing your butt because you're texting them or you're making things happen quickly? And if they contact you again, that's great. If they don't, well, unfortunately, that's what dating's all about. It's not always a happy ending, but you always learn something from each date. So don't ever think of it as a waste of time. 
but don't be too aggressive on the first few times you're getting to know somebody. Let it take its nice pace and things will work out if they're meant to. Anyway, stop texting, over texting and over sending photos and naked pictures and all that stuff. Stop it. Do the old fashioned way, getting to know somebody a little slower.